Hey, it's Joseph, and today I'm going to be giving you a live walkthrough of our latest experimental feature in Sketch. And by experimental, I mean it's not finished yet, and you can help us actually shape the future of this feature. Uh, if you're familiar with Smart Layout in Sketch, in the past it has been a feature that's confined to symbols. You can apply Smart Layout to a symbol, and Smart Layout will be triggered when you're editing the content of instances of that symbol. Uh, but a request that we've received, and one that we share with you all internally, is bringing that functionality to groups so that you can benefit from Smart Layout without having to create symbols and work with instances of symbols. So you have the flexibility of groups, and you have the power and additional flexibility that comes with Smart Layout. Uh, so the first thing is to enable this experimental feature. It's not enabled by default. And the way you go about that is through this new tab that's in the sketch settings, which I'm going to trigger by pressing command comma. You can also get to it from the sketch menu on the menu bar. And then you'll find that if you're running version 96, either production or beta, you'll find this new tab called labs. And on the labs tab, you'll find these experimental features that we're working on. So right now you see smart layout in groups and we can check that to enable it. And you can also return here to uh, share feedback on the feature. So I'm gonna close this and walk you through a couple of examples of this. The first example, we'll start with the most simple implementation. We've got a little group here. Inside this group, there is a text layer. It says one bedroom. There is a rounded rectangle. And in between them, there is uh, seven pixels of padding on the top and the bottom and 12 on the sides. So naturally, if we were to change the text string here, we'd probably want to maintain that same uh, padding, uh, especially on the left and the right, because the text is going to expand left to right uh, or contract left to right, depending on what I type in here. So what's new is once we've enabled this uh, experimental feature, you see with a group selected the layout options on the inspector, and we can set this to a horizontal layout, and then we can determine if this is gonna resize from the left edge outward and inward, uh, if it's gonna happen from the center or if it's gonna happen from the right edge. Um, in my case, um, I'm thinking based on the future of where this is gonna be used, uh, that I'll have it expand from the left edge, right? And I've got my uh, text layer uh, left justified as well. So everything matches up there. Uh, so depending on what I type here now, uh, you'll notice just deleting the rest of that text string uh, this this shrinks down immediately. Um, I think I want this to say two plus bedrooms in this case, and there we have it. You saw that the uh, that the background rectangle expanded uh, to make extra room as the text layer um, expanded and contracted. So uh, that just goes to show you that rule number one that triggers uh, smart layout to uh, adapt. Um, to the content here is uh, editing a text layer. If you edit a text layer, um, Smart Layout is triggered. So let's head over here to another example. Here I've got a group of these uh, of these chips, and um, within this group I've got you know these other subgroups. So each one of these subgroups is basically the example that we just looked at, and I can set the layout here to horizontal, uh, left to right for each one of these, just to be consistent. And for the group itself, I can do the very same thing. I can set that whole parent group to horizontal. So now if I change this to two bedrooms, not only does each respective uh, chip expand or contract, uh, but the other ones that are in the group next to it um, get out of its way. So let's say two bedrooms, condo, um, looking good. And and this contracted, uh, the, the net size difference in this case was that it ended up being a little bit smaller because the word condo was so much smaller than single family home. And because I have this set on left to right, it's still aligned in the same position on the left, uh, which you'll see in a moment why uh, this would be left aligned and not center aligned uh, when we look at the full example. Cool. Let's head over here to another example. And in this example, we've got some bullet points as well as um, some text. So um, in this case, our bullet points are little icons and our text layers are in between and the text layers maintain uh, this sort of 
tight margin with uh, with each icon, and then there's a little bit more of a gap uh, to the next point, right? So we have icon, small gap, text, medium, large gap, and then icon, small gap, text, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so these are kind of grouped together through uh, proximity. Um, let's do the same thing. I'm going to set this on horizontal. And what's interesting about this is uh, another thing that will trigger smart layout um, in addition to um, editing a text layer is deleting a layer. If uh, if we were to say, you know what, we don't need this one bed, one bath, uh, we can delete this. And if I tap on delete, it's gone, the space contracts, and the layout automatically updates itself. Uh, what's interesting about this, there's a little bit more going on here than might immediately meet the eye. Because if I delete this one bed here, um, there is a margin to the left that's smaller and a margin to the right that is larger. And Smart Layout is actually smart enough to uh, preserve the larger of the two. Uh, so in the event that you're deleting part of something or if you've got a, a row of icons that have irregular spacing, uh, smart layout tries to be smart enough to preserve the appropriate amount of spacing. So you can see here, getting rid of the icon didn't get rid of that large space to the left. It preserved it. Um, getting rid of both, of course, gets rid of both. And we get uh, just that one large margin um, that we would want. So it's pretty smart when it comes to figuring out um, how to collapse uh, these gaps that are in between items. So that's something to keep an eye out for and um, report any feedback on uh, on how that's working for you. Okay, so our third example, fourth example, fourth example. Yeah, we're doing this live. So our fourth example here is uh, the card. We're going to focus on the card here. By the way, that left to right layout that was left aligned, this is where that ended up. So that's the reason we have it aligned uh, on the left and not centered because we want it to grow outward to the right where it kind of flows off the screen. Um, if we did center it up, then it, it would grow or, or shrink uh, equally on both sides, and then it would end up uh, spilling off uh, the left side of the screen too. So that's why I had this left align. There's a little context. So let's focus on the card though. The card uh, you'll find is basically a piece of content followed by a group, followed by a text layer, followed by uh, a button. So if you think of all of this information here as one chunk, which it is one chunk because it's in a group, um, then this is sort of organized in strips that are laid out vertically. So the card, I could set the card itself to a vertical layout. I can say this is going to be top to bottom. So the top edge is going to be left alone. And now I'll show you a, another thing that triggers a uh, smart layout here, and that is manipulating the size of a layer. Uh, so this image here, this image here is a kind of a wide aspect ratio, almost two to one. Uh, let's say we wanted it to be a square. I can just get in here and make the image larger. And by making the image larger, everything else scoots out of the way. So Smart Layout is a really, really awesome tool here when you're manipulating the size of layers that are stacked up on top of one another and you want the other layers to get out of the way. Uh, similarly, this paragraph of text, this is set to auto height. Um, so much like we did with the other text box uh, earlier, if I delete part of this text, the text box gets shorter. Since the text box got shorter, uh, the layers below scoot it up. So this button uh, scooted up on its own. And the card in the background, uh, just like the button container that we were looking at a moment ago, the card in the background is expanding and contracting uh, to fit, which is really awesome. Okay. There, is, well, there are two more things that will trigger Smart Layout uh, currently. And one of them is swapping one symbol for another that's a different size. So here we have this button that says Send Instant Offer. Um, if I swap this for this other symbol that says that the property is no longer available, this no longer available message is actually not as tall as the primary CTA. So when I click on that, You'll notice this smaller symbol popped in, but the bottom margin is maintained. Everything is still distributed uh, as, as it was. So Smart Layout was triggered uh, simply by swapping one symbol of one size for a different symbol of a different size, which is also, of course, happening because swap at original size is checked. Uh, if this is unchecked, then it will swap the new symbol in at the same height and width as the symbol that it's replacing. So swap original size should be checked uh, if you want to see this happening. 
Um, cool. So that is almost everything. There's one more, one more example of a slightly different thing that can trigger a smart layout. And that's going to happen uh, if you have a group of things that are tidied or evenly uh, distributed where the smart layout handles uh, show up. Uh, or I'm sorry, the smart distribute handles show up. Um, that example is happening here because what I did here is within this card list, I have these cards, right? Let's look at just this one card. Within this card, I have card contents, right? So card contents excludes the container that's in the background. Because it excludes the container in the background, we now have this tidy value of 12 uh, points that are between uh, each item uh, within within this group. Uh, when the container is in there, uh, it doesn't work out because we're not tidying um, the distribution of the container. The container is not one of those, those uh, contained items. It's the container itself. Uh, so in this case, with the contents together, uh, because they're tidy, they all share that 12 uh, point gap between them. If I select one of these items uh, that, that's in that tidied group, you see the smart distribute handles, which allow me to rearrange things and also give me these little wider handles where I can click and drag to change the, uh, the distribution here. And I can also hold shift to go by my uh, shift amount that's specified in the sketch settings. And um, you'll notice not only is it triggering the, um, the smart layout within this group and making the card larger, um, it's also triggering smart layout in the parent group because I've got these cards uh, all grouped up in a card list which has a vertical layout of its own. So yeah, now by doing anything that triggers the smart layout on this child layer that, that triggers it for its parent group, it also triggers it all the way up uh, the grouping hierarchy, uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, and again, the uh, smart distribution handles here, we're doing the same thing. It's pushing everything else down. Uh, so there is a tremendous amount of flexibility that comes with this. But again, it is an experimental feature. Because it's an experimental feature, we are looking for your feedback. Uh, you can provide that feedback again in the sketch settings. Uh, there is a share feedback button next to the experimental feature itself on the labs tab. And you can also join us on the brand new Sketch Forum by going to forum.sketch.com. And uh, there you'll find there is a thread uh, dedicated to Sketch Labs. And within there, there is a subtopic where we are discussing smart layout and groups. So join us there. Hop into the conversation. You'll be able to chat with us directly about this feature. And uh, let us know what you think and how it's working for you.